Hello and welcome to our latest video. So today, in light of the government's announcement and us just being sad because we can't go eventing because it's winter, we thought we'd bring eventing home and do a three-day event in the sand school. To start with, we'll be doing our trot up before dressage and then we'll be doing dressage. And we do actually have a guest judge, who, which is very exciting, but I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. So tomorrow for the cross country phase, we're going to be doing arena cross country in here. Friday morning, we'll do the second trot up, and then we will do the show jumping in here, and we'll see who wins. It's going to be me. We hope you enjoy the rest of the, our video, and yeah, enjoy watching it. We'll see you at trot up. So we've just done the trot up and they're both passed <laughs> and we're about to go on to do the dressage phase of the competition which is judged and we can reveal it very soon by um, the only five star winner of 2020. Colin and I'll be judging the dressage test for Abby and Emma. Good rhythm and very straight, 7.5. Good size circle to the left, could be a little bit more forward, 7. Circle to the right, a little on the large side, 6.5. Good canter transition. Head a little unsteady through the corner, 7.5. Good size circle, lacking a little bit of impulsion, seven. A little bit early to trot, 6.5, seven, transition to walk. Good step and good reach for the free walk on a long rein. Eight. Good halt, eight. A little unsteady in the contact, 6.5, 7 for transition to canter, good shaped circle, 7. Seven 
7.5 for the transition to trot. Nine for the centre line, very good halt. Uh, paces, uh, seven. Impulsion, 6.5. Submission, seven. Rider, 7.5. Great combination, um, very well presented test. Could just do with a little bit more impulsion to create a more secure contact. Slightly off centre line and unsteady contact, 6.5, 7, good size circle, 7.5, Lacking a little bit of suppleness in the right bend. 6.5. Nice counter transition. Head just a little unsteady, 7. Good size circle, seven. A little against hand in downward transition, 6.5, seven for transition to walk. Good rhythm in the free walk and good stretch, 7.5. A little tight in the steps into the halt, not quite square, 7.5 slightly falling in and coming against contact 6 good rhythm and good suppleness in the bend 7.5 7 for the downward transition. Slightly overshot centre line. 6.5. Paces, 6.5. Impulsion, 7. Submission, 6. Rider position, 7. Another great combination um, could just work on a little bit more suppleness to the contact um, to keep a head a bit stiller. Right, so the dressage, I wasn't particularly happy with my test. So I'm not particularly happy with it, but we'll see. I'm excited to see what um, Laura thought about it. Cuff Country course building time. We're trying to make um, cross country jumps out of our limited materials. <laughs> so unfortunately, after hours of setting up the 
um, just everything for the country, getting ready, setting up the course. The school was, well, frozen last, um, from last night, this morning, and unlike yesterday, it didn't unfreeze. But fingers crossed, um, tomorrow will be slightly better for doing it. But it just means that this free day event has turned into more like a more than free day event. So after a lot of waiting and hoping that the sand skills of surface would improve, it has finally. So Abby and I can now get ready to move on to the cross country phase, which is really exciting because the course is looking amazing.
So we're about to go show jumping and we'll have a bit of a warm up and then get into it. Only by frozen memories Lost in time Racing all these broken dreams tonight And we'll Yeah. 